What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. I I want to give uh, credit to a YouTube channel called Bro Chat. And I'm going to put a link to the full video in the description box if you want to check it out. And you can go definitely over to the channel and subscribe. But Winter, who is on Love and Marriage DC, who has confirmed that she will not be coming back. But to be honest with you, they don't even know if the show is coming back in the first place. So it doesn't even really matter a whole lot if she isn't coming back because they don't even know if the show is coming back. She shared a lot and she really talked about in my personal opinion how she feels like Carlos just really didn't see the show as a priority just based on the way things have went down and when you see the things that he has been doing and the things that he's been participating in for the most part where he's been spending the majority of his time I have to say that I believe that to be the case so she talked a little bit about that as well as Love and Marriage Huntsville And there's a number of things that she said that I agree with and some that I don't. But I want to go ahead and just play a portion of this for you guys to check out to hear what she had to say regarding, you know, the impact of editing and some people's perception of reality TV versus, not even versus, as well as the show and, and the way things have went down. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Listen to me. Networks are are very big on ratings, <laughs> ratings and what the fans want. People made such a big deal about Love and Marriage Huntsville not having a break because they thought at some point in between all of the um, episodes they were airing for Love and Marriage Huntsville, they could have slid our show in. Love of Marriage Huntsville is a ratings generator. A ratings generator. There's no way that they would shelve their ratings generator for a show that isn't generating ratings. <laughs> I don't fall on for that. Makes sense to me. I'm a businesswoman. Makes sense to me. Don't make money, it don't make sense. Honey, your show don't make me money. <laughs> So I think that was the bigger issue. Like, I I, I don't think that was, that was not a, I know for a fact that wasn't a production call. That was a network call. And let's be clear, Love and Marriage DC has not gone back to filming. We've not. There's been no discussion of the next season. There's been no talks of when we're going back to filming. And typically... We are told um, about a next season at reunion. Not only was our reunion delayed, um, we weren't told at reunion that there was going to be another season. What's up, D? Um, Huntsville has a better core. So this is my this is my this is my observation. And this is strictly my observation. This is my observation with Love and Marriage Huntsville. Love and Marriage Huntsville came in with a core of friends. Now, we have seen those friendships disintegrate, but I, but see, that's my issue with reality TV in general. Um, it destroys. It doesn't build. Okay? But they had a core of friends who really knew each other, who really had businesses, who really had something going on, not pieced together like our cast was. Nobody on our cast was genuine friends. I don't care about these backstories that everybody want to give. Stop lying. Nobody knew anybody like that. This is why it's people are intentionally trying to connect the dots. Fans ain't fooled. Y'all know genuine friendships when y'all see them. Y'all know genuine friendships when you... Nobody on our cast has been friends for years. Versus Love and Marriage Huntsville, they've all been friends for years. So when you see the breakdown of the friendship, it hits the fans differently because you realize, oh crap, like... This is horrible. They're, they're, you know, like, it ain't the same with us. So, it's a lot of made-for-TV on our cast. And I think a lot of that is because the the main 
couple had difficulty finding couples in the area that wanted to do the show. And, and let's just be clear. If you have any amount of money and influence, you're not always as pressed to be on TV, especially when you're signing away the ability um, to create your own narrative. Nobody in their right mind really want to. Um... <laughs> you said, why doesn't he recap on D.C.? Is that going to drive his ratings? It's chestnut checkers. You don't report on things that don't increase your numbers. This is why a certain castmate of mine hopped on the beef with me because it helped drive numbers. And the more, the bigger, you know, antics you create over it, it drives numbers. Drama drives numbers. Why would I talk about a show that doesn't drive numbers? (laughs) It's why you can't attack bloggers. That's all, that's all we got. If the bloggers ain't, re, ain't, ain't recapping, what we doing? Most of the bloggers I know that have substantial platforms do not review Love of Bears DC. That is a huge departure from us season one, where every major blogger reviewed, and a lot of that had to do with Monique being on our show because she was a former housewife, and they reviewed our show. Most major bloggers do not recap our show anymore. That is not by accident. And it's not because of Ashley like y'all want to make it out to be. It's not because of Joy and Clifton because that's what y'all want to make it out to be as well. It could just be because this mix of people don't work. It could be that this mix of people is not made for TV. We got a whole bunch of that. (laughs) All right, so I'm going to stop it right there. There's a number of things she said that I agree with and some that I don't. While it is known that the core group of the people on Love and Marriage Huntsville knew each other, friends, I don't think so. Helped each other out in some things? Yeah, and probably. But um, the relationships disintegrated not because of reality TV, If people are going to be honest about it, most people know what the reasons were. And you can let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section. Has Carlos helped the show in the ratings? Absolutely not. When she said that most content creators are not reviewing the show, that's very true. A lot of people only still talk about Love and Marriage Huntsville because of the star of that show, which is Melody, because she has a very large fan base. And a lot of the other people who are on the show don't like that, which is ridiculous because if it were not for her, the show wouldn't even still be on the air. But even with that being said, the show still is the pits. It's it's still not a good show. And like I said, I don't plan on watching it next season. And it's not a knock against Melody. I'm just not supportive of the show the way it has been. When Winter spoke about them being real business owners, I it took everything in me not to bust out laughing because that is it's really reaching, really, really reaching. <laughs> and you all know what I mean by that. And you can let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. But uh yeah, Melody was the only like real one actually doing business and her then husband was benefiting from it by being on her coattails and profiting from the labor and the ideas that she put in. The sculpt business was because of Melody. Um, You know, and I heard a number of other things about how Melody helped out the Scots. And it's just a lot. (laughs) It really is. Um, I don't blame her even if the show was coming back next season to say, you know what, I'm absolutely done with it. But when someone asked her about Carlos not really recapping the show like he does shows on Bravo, would that be one of the reasons why the numbers are not that great? (laughs) It really just goes to show how much he doesn't even really believe in his own projects, you know? And that old saying goes, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. So if he's not really putting in the effort and the belief into his own projects, then who else is really going to do that? Like I've said, if I had to choose 
between the shows on OWN that he has produced, being Huntsville, D.C., and Detroit, I would choose D.C. hands down. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, I don't like the show. It's boring. It's this, it's that, it's the other. Ashley's full of drama, whatnot, whatever. But in terms of the actual marriages, because the show is premised on supposed <laughs> love and marriage, I love the marriages. Like, they're real. We're starting to see a few little things when it comes to Ashley and Quick, how he works all the time. And she's starting to feel, you know, or not even starting to feel, but she's starting to share how she feels alone a lot of times because she is at events when he is either leaving early or coming late or not able to come at all. But that's a real thing. But I see that the love dynamic between the two of them, it's real, it's true, it's genuine. Irena and Jamie, even though there are some people who don't care for them, I like the relationship. One, with Jamie, I see a lot of things in him when it comes to PTSD that I can relate to. Being the spouse of someone that has PTSD and it is really hard. And I really do like Arena, even though some people feel like she's messy and whatever. She's beautiful. I feel like she's just kind of like an effortless beauty. And I do believe that her and her husband have a really great relationship. And then just overall, okay, the marriages and the lifestyle that they live, it's like real. When you look at the footage of their homes, it's night and day with Huntsville. And that's not to say Huntsville doesn't have large homes in Alabama. They do. I watch HGTV <laughs> House Hunters all the time. They do. And I told you guys that I have I was in Huntsville for a short period of time, but albeit for a period of time when my husband was working as a contractor out of the country by way of Huntsville, Alabama. So they have the real estate there. But when you look at Ashley and Quick's home, when you look at Irena and Jamie's home, and you know they're no longer on the show, but Monique and Chris's home at the time, you know, like, anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to go into any details about that, but I just, I just feel that Carlos is just throwing a lot of different things at the wall to see what sticks. The Bold and Bougie show, I heard it was canceled. I don't know how true that is, but I didn't watch it in the first place, so I don't really even care. But he's riding around in cars with Nini and talking about respectful cheating. And he's doing recaps with Dr. Heavenly of reality shows. They were doing it for Married to Medicine, but it's no longer on the show on the, um, on the network right now. So they're talking about Real Housewives of Potomac and whatever. And it's just like... Ugh. So I just wanted to just share my thoughts on what Winter had to say. Would love to know what you guys think about it so you can let me know in the comment section below. So thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. <laughs>